Hi, my name is Alex. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom button using Alpha, which we are going to create now. This is an intermediate tutorial, so just follow the most button and you'll get the picture of what to change under document. Deselect Pro and make it uh, 512 by 512 document, resize it. Under Tools, you select Plain 3D, you draw it on the canvas, make it editable and make Polymesh 3D out of it. Now you should uh, press F on the keyboard just to see if the mesh is covering all the canvas. As we can see here, it doesn't. It uh, still shows some of the canvas and that is not okay, so we have to zoom in until when we click F, uh, the mesh should uh, cover everything. Then we have to go down to geometry, turn off uh, smooth modifier and subdivide till level 5. Then we shoot under transform, which you can find here. Uh, Activate symmetry on the z-axis and radial count set to 25. Now we can draw something on the canvas. I'm not going to explain how you should create your own uh, design because ZBrush is all about uh, experimenting. So, after you have uh, created uh, something you like, you go to Alpha and click Grab Talk, and the Alpha is created. So, you have to make sure everything that is on the canvas should face you, because when you grab the document, it creates a copy of what is showing on the canvas. Now we should, before we save the brush, we should try it out on the sphere. Make the poly mesh. Again, subdivide it till level 5. And use drag rectangle for stroke. And on the standard brush, I'm going to draw, draw the new design of the button. So now we can see and the intensity is pretty low, so we can increase it. And holding the on button, you can see you can. We can uh, make it subdivided. So when we are, you are happy with your Z intensity, uh, you go up to brush and click save as and save it on your hard drive. This this and this is pretty much it if you are creating the alpha which is uh, flowing upwards from the plane 3D. Uh, because if you go back to the to the design, you can see if we go to the side view, the plane of the 3D is the starting, uh, the lowest point of uh, the mesh. Uh, this is okay, but if we make uh, something lower than, uh, than the plane, which we can see now here, you can see these points are lower than the plane 3D, then we uh, can have a problem when we grab the document. Because now we can see uh, 
the plain 3D is also shown in the offer and this can create some problems when applying um, this kind of uh, button Oops, we have to make it uh, a drag rectangle so here is the problem we have this edge because in the alpha the plane 3D is also being uh, shown we can fix that by going to alpha I'm going to dock it on the side and under under modify we can set the mid value the mid value pushes the these outer parts inwards so we can see with settings 27 it's already too much pushed in so we can go maybe to 25 and check it out 20, say 25, 24 and now we can see we have no longer any uh, border issues we can refine it with uh, radial fade just to make sure 3 is enough to clear any, any uh, borders that we might miss so, uh, so we can see here we still had uh, a little bit border which we refined with radial fade. Now we don't have it anymore. So this is it. Again, you go to brush and save it. I hope you learned something new and. Till next time. Bye.